Hey everybody! This is a quick video to show you how to use Sketchpad Looper in your VST host. Let's dive right in and take a look how to set things up on the computer. All right, so here we are in Cubase 12. I have an audio track there with Guitar Rig 6 on it. That's for my guitar. And what I'm going to do is just put Sketchpad on after Guitar Rig. So Sketch. Okay, and I'll just make it a little bit bigger here. Now there are four main controls at the bottom. Here's uh, record. We use that for recording new loops. This is stop. And if you press it twice, it'll reset everything. Uh, then we have undo and redo. Now, obviously, we're not going to be controlling Sketchpad with our mouse. That would be ridiculous. We could use the buttons on a MIDI controller, like the keyboard behind me. But for this video, we'll be using a MIDI Expression I.O. with two sustain pedals plugged into the front. And I'll show you how that's set up. All right, so this is the pedal I'm going to use for recording new loops. It's a sustain pedal. It's nice and quiet. So especially if you're using a microphone, that's kind of important. And uh, this other pedal, um, I have it set up to send two different control changes depending on how long you press it. So if I short press it, I get CC1. And if I long press it, I get CC2. And it's important to notice that every time I press these pedals, uh, it's sending two values. We get 127 and 0, on and off. Same for the small one. On and off. On and off. If your pedals aren't sending those two values, 127 and 0, uh, Sketchpad's going to have trouble, so make sure you have them set up properly. So now we need to route the MIDI from the MIDI expression to Sketchpad. And to do that, we are going to add a MIDI track. So, uh, new add MIDI track. And we'll go MIDI expression. And we will set it to MIDI expression on the input and Sketchpad on the output. All right, and now we can learn our controls. So what we do is just uh, right click and select this icon. And now I'll press this pedal. And I want undo, so I'll do the same thing here with the short press. And then I'll long press this one. Now we have record, undo, and redo. Uh, and that's it. We should be uh, good to go. I guess we should have this um, probably to monitor and not uh, record like that. Okay, here we go. Now, to do the next layer, uh, I'm actually going to make it twice as long, and we can check out the auto doubling feature. Undo, redo. Now Sketchpad saves all of its loops to uh, memory, not to disk. So if we want to save our work, we're actually going to have to click on this render button. That renders it to a file on your disk. And then from here, you can just drag your file and 
now it's in my project. Alternatively, you can just click on here and it brings it up in the file explorer.